brothers and sisters, today is a very special day, because last week, we have a new member who will be joining us today. For now on, his name is Classic Caillou. He is from the USA, who came back to visit our church. He will be giving us a powerful message about his testimony, how Jesus Christ changes his life for the better. The Lord did a wonderful miracle in him. He changed, and now he is a completely different person, transformed into a newborn Christian again. Glory Jesus, the Almighty God who does miracles in children. He is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. God will transform anyone who accepts him as his personal savior. Oh there he is. It's our new friend, our new church member, who is our brother in Christ. Classic Caillou, Anderson. May God continue to bless him, and guide him in Jesus' name. Good morning, Pastor Sammy. Thank you for having me here. I am so happy to be in God's house, but I got to say, that Jesus Christ, is the only way for everyone to enter heaven. Amen. That's the spirit, my brother. God is the only way to heaven. And look at you, my brother. You are a completely different person. I really love your new outfit. It makes you look handsome. You look like a servant of God. I am so excited that you were finally here with us. May the Lord bless your new heart. Thank you so much, my dear brother in Christ, my wonderful pastor. I feel like I am a completely different person now. Now that I am a born Christian, I will worship Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, that whoever accepts Jesus Christ as their personal savior, they shall receive eternal life. That means whoever accepts him will become born again. Jesus is the only way, but the true way to heaven. Glory to God. We shall love Jesus, every single day of our lives. Amen. Remember, our Lord is watching us from heaven. Amen. That is right my brother, Jesus Christ is the only true way to heaven. So that's where we go to when we die. We enter the kingdom of God, which is heaven. Anyways, may God continue to bless you heart. More blessings to come this year. Now before we start the church service, we will pray for you. So God can do a miracle today. Amen. Now that's a fantastic idea. I will absolutely need some prayer, my brother. May the Lord bless me and everyone who is with us today. Let's pray. Dear Almighty God, we are here today to start another service at your wonderful house, O Lord. I pray that you do a miracle in our brother, Classic Caillou, and that you continue to help him in the right path, in the right direction, O Lord. Help my brother do your will, that he can deliver your message Father. Whoever belongs to God, here's what God says. John 8 verses 47. The word of Christ, declares that we shall obey God's commandments and serve him always. We pray that everyone, who is watching this, right now, that God is the only way to heaven. O oh, Heavenly Father, continue to bless my brother, and that you protect him with the angels from heaven. Thank you Lord, for hearing our prayers, and that you continue to bless our ministry, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thanks for the prayer, brother. That was powerful. What a blessing. You're welcome brother. Anytime. Anyways, now that the church service is going to start, May God bless you and deliver the message that God gives you, my friend. Amen. I sure will, Pastor. Thanks. Good morning, my brothers and sisters of Christ. May God bless this beautiful church, which is God's house. I am so happy to be here once again. Amen. Glory to the Lord who is watching us from heaven, that we shall be doing God's will at all times, according to the Bible. Oh, I can feel the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. The Bible says, that, the same power that raised Christ from the dead, is the same living in you. 
You can find this Bible verse at Romans, chapter 8, verses 11, Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, whoever believes in me will live, even though they die, everyone who lives and believes in me, will never die. Do you believe this, says the Lord, quote, you can find this Bible verse at John, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. Amen my brother, that is the word of God. Keep preaching brother. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him, should not perish, but have eternal life. Quote, you can find this powerful Bible verse, in the book of John Paul, chapter 3 verses 16. Amen my brothers, Jesus Christ, died on the cross, and shed his precious blood. For every one of us, his precious blood is powerful, but so powerful, that his precious blood cleans us from our sins. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Quote, Hebrews, chapter 9 verse 22, says the Lord. As you can see, my brothers and sisters of Christ, our God is a true living God, the Lord that does miracles in us. He is the same God, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He is alive. He is still alive. Can you believe that? Jesus Christ died in the cross. He shed his precious blood for us, cleaned us from our sins. Even though we are sinner, but he forgives us from our sins. He rised from the cross, and he resurrected, and he is still alive as of today. God is still alive. He is waiting for you with his open arms to accept him as your personal savior. He loves you and he loves each one of us. Let Jesus Christ enter your heart, and he will transform your life, and you shall become born again. It's free. Amen. Amen my brother, what a powerful message from the Lord. Keep preaching my brother, you are doing great. The Lord is doing a miracle right now. Hallelujah. Our Lord is the most perfect God that we can have. Not only that, but He is considered our Heavenly Father, the Creator of humanity. He created humans for a reason, and that reason is so that they can worship their Creator. And that Creator of everything is Jesus Christ, the true living God. God is waiting for the unsaved people with His open arms, so that they receive Him as their personal Savior. Jesus Christ can change everyone who is willing to accept Him in their hearts. Jesus can change them. So. If you read this sign at the left corner, it says that Jesus Christ will change anyone who is willing to accept them as their personal savior in their hearts. Amen. I totally agree with that message here. That is absolutely correct. Jesus Christ will change any person who is willing to accept him as their personal savior. Praise God. That's the spirit, my brother. Now, let's read our Bibles again. I will be reading some Bible verses and I will be discussing what is the meaning of each Bible verse. Amen? Oh glory to the Lord! Hallelujah! Let's get out our Bibles again guys! The preacher is going to read some Bible verses, so listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. Alright my brothers and sisters of the church, let's begin our teaching. Remember you guys, God is watching us, so let's all be obedient to God's message, the Word of God. The Bible says, Sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. Let this be known in all the earth. You can find this Bible verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 5. Amen my brothers. Praise God, if you agree with the word of God. What is the meaning of this Bible verse? Well. In my own definition, it means that you have to praise the Lord by worshiping Him with songs. Share what God has done in your life. Worship Him, every day. When you sing to the Lord, He will hear you from heaven. Singing to the Lord is a way to worship God. God loves when His children sing to Him. That is why, my brothers and sisters, we have to worship our Heavenly Father, which is our Lord, Jesus Christ, our personal Savior. We have to testify what God has done in our lives. When we share our testimonies, God will bless us. When we share in what God is doing to our family, He will bless us more. 
When we keep obeying our Lord, He is going to do a miracle by answering our prayers, and so on. Obedience is a key to heaven. We have to love others, because God is love. Amen, amen. That's right, my brother. Obedience is the key for heaven. When we obey the Holy Spirit, that means we are also obeying God's word. Hallelujah. Praise our Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, let's read the next Bible verse. Then I will show you what this Bible verse really means. Praise our Lord Almighty. The Bible says, For this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him, will not perish, but have eternal life. You can find this powerful Bible verse in the book of John, chapter 3, verses 16. Alright my brothers? So here is the definition in my own words. God loves every one of us. He is waiting for the unsaved people to accept Him in their hearts. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Follow this path, and you will be saved. Amen? When they accept Jesus Christ as their only Savior, and say that Jesus Christ died on the cross for them, shed His precious blood, Jesus resurrected. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Glory to the Almighty from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah praise the Lord. That is right my dear brother. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Glory to the Almighty. Would you like to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and become a newborn Christian? It's free. Yes, I do. I will accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. I shall become a true Christian. Yes, Lord. This is going to be the best day of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoever is willing to accept Jesus Christ as their only personal Lord and Savior, come up to the altar, and we will pray for you. Remember, God's love is always free. Father, we are here to pray for our brother, who today, accepted you as his only Savior, and that you do a miracle in his life. Help him, O oh Lord, so that he can share the word, of the Almighty. Father, I thank you for this powerful message that was delivered in this service today. Thank you Jesus for everything you've done today. Bless this young boy. We love you Jesus. God loves children. He loves kids. The children are the future of tomorrow according to your word. Bless the boy and help him do your will. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Receive your blessing from the Almighty. In Jesus name. My young brother in Christ. God loves you buddy. Receive your blessing. Hallelujah. There you go, buddy. Now, you look like a big boy. You're a big kid now.